Joel chapter 3 verse 6 the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their border behold I will raise them out of the place whether ye have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Thanks, double honors to the head apostles and elders of great millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The guys of people here for a bit. You do to eat Africans, which we're not, you're going to have to pay. You must the armpits, man, the Arabs. You're going to have to pay. You Grecians, a.k.a. you Edomites, you're going to have to pay. Thus, thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. Remember the slave trade? The God of the Bible saw everything. You know, the angels are writing down the report. Ain't nobody getting away with nothing. And see, the people that you sold into slavery... There wasn't just, just slaves. There was doctors. There was fathers. There was mothers. Teachers. Healers. You know. You didn't just sell slaves, man. It was great already. Oh, yeah. They, they, there was none. There was monkeys swinging on trees, right? No, people have been great. Be special. Remember, you're the nobodies. All you nations got together and sold us around the four corners of the earth. But now, it, look, everything that you see going on right about now, it's, it's, it's time now. We're getting closer and closer to all you heathen nations going head first into captivity. Look, you, you don't realize that, though. Everything, look, the, the missiles, the bombs, the guns. The wars, rumors of wars, the earthquakes, everything that you see going on right now, do you know it's building up to the final showdown? When our Lord and Savior comes, destroy this place called America. The Lord is going to destroy this place, all right? And then right after that, all you nations are going head first into captivity. Look, look, Joel, chapter 3, verse 6. The children also of Judah, the southern kingdom, right? And the children of Jerusalem, the northern kingdom. All twelve tribes have he sold unto the Grecians. Who were the Greeks? So-called white people, right? Edomites, right? That ye might remove them far from their border. Was on the west coast of Africa, right? Look, look slave trade, look, look, they sold us. But oh yeah, then you got them you know, saying these um, so-called white Christians, some of um, so-called Negroes won't sow. Look, we just read, sow. They were sold, man. For mustard gun, wine, things of that nature, all right? Our life was really nothing to them, right? It says, behold, I will raise them out of the place whether ye have sold them. Because that great deliverance is coming. The great deliverance that you read about in Jeremiah, the 16th chapter. Where all our enemies are going to be held, the elect of the nation of Israel. Being gathered out of the four corners of the earth where they were sold. And delivered into those chariots. And will return your recompense. The Lord said, look, he's going to pay you back. The word recompense means to pay back. Upon your own head. You think our slavery was, was bad? You haven't seen nothing yet. You thought, I look, man, woke up thinking about putting you heathens into captivity. You know? Selling you on auction blocks. Picking cotton from sun up to sun down. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where they have sold them. And I will return your recompense upon your own head. I Meaning, ain't no bygones. Let bygones be bygones. This is the Heavenly Father speaking.
and I will sell your sons. This is, look, pastor in the church, TD snakes, TD fakes, our sharp tongue. You got our people voting right about now. P the P Diddy's, you know, the different artists out there. Israelite are like artists out there. You got our people into all kind of madness. You know, Jesse Jackass Jackson. We you supposed to be reading this scripture to our people. You supposed to be letting our people know that the people that led us into captivity is going to have to pay. They going ahead for us into captivity, and I will sell your sons and your daughters on them auction blocks, man. You going ahead for us on them auction blocks, right? Into the hand of of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off. For the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahushai has spoken it. See, the, the Lord has spoken this. You do dirt, you get dirt. Look, the Lord has spoken it. Y'all gonna be sold, all you nations, gonna be sold from one corner of the earth to the other corner of the earth. It ain't no let bygones be bygones. What are you Israelites talking about? The, the race tensions and all that. You know the end result of all that? This place being destroyed and he's either going ahead first in the captivity. That's the end result. Revelation chapter 13 verse 9. If any man have an ear. You, and you heard what the scripture said. The scripture said, look, look, we're going to sell your sons. And sell your daughters on auction blocks, man. And you know that's going to be a beautiful day. Do you not know that's going to be one of the most beautiful days known to mankind ever? Known to mankind? That we, we desire to see that day. Now, now we, we don't know about two thirds, but we desire to see that day. So, miss the Lord with that nonsense, man. This is the mind frame. This is the mind frame you Israelites are supposed to have, man. You're supposed to be begging your high about Shema Shah to have it come back and put all these heathen nations, every last one of them, into captivity, right? If any man have an ear, Revelation chapter 13, verse 9, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Remember, go sell your sons and your daughters. And this is going to happen, though it tarry, wait for it. For it, sh it shall surely come to pass, right? He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. It's just a waiting game now. We, we, look, we know for a fact that this is going to happen. All right? We know for a fact that this is going to happen, Israel. The Lord said he's going to gather the remnant of the nation of Israel. And look, no matter where they scatter that, they're going to sit them back in their homeland, a.k.a. Jerusalem, Israel, not Africa. 2nd Maccabees chapter 1 yeah, which is part of the Apocrypha verse 28 punish them matter of fact I, I start at 27 2nd Maccabees chapter 1 verse 27 gather those together that are scattered from us deliver them that serve among the heathen deliver them that serve among the heathen man It's going to be beautiful, man. Look upon them that are despised and abhorred. That's the Israelites. You know? No matter where they at, these heathens despise and they hate us, man. They abhor us, man. And let the heathen know that thou art our power. Let these heathens know that you are our power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Not theirs. Let them know that you are our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh not theirs. Punish them that oppress us. They will never read this scripture right here. Never read this scripture. Punish them, punish, 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 punish them. They oppress us damn right. Damn right, punish them, you know.
and with pride do us wrong. You see the way they do us, and they do it with pride, man. But once again, pride go before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall, man. You see how they treat us even until this day. You think we ain't crying to the Lord to come back and do something to these people? Are, are you serious? Look, you think we ain't crying to your how about shot you know, to come back and do something to these people? Look, are, are you serious? We crying, we begging you how about Shema Shah to hurry up and come back and do something to these people. Look, all their kings and all their nobles, you know what I'm saying, are going head first into captivity. And all for, and for you, all you new Israelites, just, just not finding out who you are according to the Bible, just know. All these heathens are going into captivity, just know that. They're going head first into captivity. It ain't lit. It ain't no lit. By God, be by. Don't let your your daddy and your mama talk you into. Oh, you you must forgive them. The, the, look, the Lord didn't say that. Punish them that oppress us. The Lord didn't never say forgive those that led us into captivity. He said the people that led us into captivity are getting ready to go into captivity. What part of that didn't you hear? You know, look, don't be fooled or bamboozled by these two-third Israelites, man. These sellouts, man. All right? We know what thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible said, Isaiah, the 14th chapter. You know, everything I say, I back it up with a scripture. Isaiah, the 14th chapter. They get ready to pick some cotton. All right? They get ready to build some houses. They get ready to build some roads. They get ready to dig some ditches. All right, they get ready to turn big boulders into small boulders. Big, 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 big boulders into small boulders. They're gonna work day and night. The only time they're gonna get rest is on the Sabbath, man. That's it. That's it. Isaiah 14, chapter, verse 1 For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel, representing unique roles, Latins, and Native American Indians, right? And will yet choose Israel. And set them in their own land, which is the land of Jerusalem, Israel, not Africa. What's the motherland? I'm, I'm gonna prove it right quick. You know, keep calling us African. We, we ain't African. That's our made up name. The word Africa comes from a Roman general named Scipio Africanus, man. All right? We're not from him. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. But Jerusalem. Because the Lord said he's going to set us in our own land, right? But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Which is the mother, which is the mother of us all. What's the motherland? Jerusalem, all right? Not Africa, all right? Not America. America's not our homeland, all right? Jerusalem is going back. Isaiah 14. One, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. And we yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And when we get you here, we're gonna get we're gonna get you right where we want you to. Where do we get you at our homeland? You know? And the strangers, Israelite foreigners, shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Instead of doing all this dancing and this rapping and all this acting and all this, you're supposed to be reading these scriptures, you Hebrews. You prophets out there. You doing more rapping than teaching. Made a 44 minute um, video about um, why y'all mad we rapping. No, no prophecies or nothing came out. We we sit here to prophesy. Tell our people what's gonna happen before it even happened, man. Getting their mind right. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. Look, look, uh oh. The Israelites are going to take these heathens and bring them to their place. We just read the place, Jerusalem, right? In the house of Israel, Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans shall possess them, shall own them. In the land of the Lord for service and handmaids, slave men, slave women. Remember? We're going to put you on auction and blocks. We're going to sell you. We're going to sell you, man. And they shall take them captives. Whose captives they were. The people that led us into captivity, you know they going into captivity. And they shall rule over their oppressors, right? We're gonna rule. Rule now over our oppressors. Look, and that's the day that we long for. 
So all for, so for, for all you new Israelites that are waking up, just know that all these nations that put their hands on us soon come. We're gonna put them head first in the captivity, and that's thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. There ain't no lit bygones be bygones. I, my, my, some of my best friends are black. We ain't falling for none of that nonsense. You know, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. You know, therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured. All they that devour thee shall be devoured. Ain't no let bygones be bygones. You know? You wait. You wait till that day come, man. It's going to be a beautiful, oh, happy days. It's going to be a, a day to sing of joy, man. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, all you heathen nations, every one of you, shall go into captivity. And they that spoiled thee, remember they took everything that we had, they even stole our nationality. They call themselves Israelites now, when, when it's truly us. And anytime you try to say you're an Israelite, people are mocking, scorn you to death. But the Lord gonna reveal who the Israelites are, and these people, man, you're gonna see the look on their face. You're gonna see the look on their face when the Israelites are being delivered, and these heathens are burning a horrible death with that fire, man. They're going to go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Look, do you not know that's coming? Do you not know? We look, we, we're coming into that age. We're coming into that age where all you heathens are going to have to pray. And that's a beautiful thing, man. Can't, I can't keep talking about it. You know? All you nation, man. Let's get that precept. First Maccabee, First Maccabee, chapter two, verse ten. What nation have not had a part in her kingdom and gotten of her spoils? Every nation, man. Every we went into captivity up under every nation up under the sun. Every nation had a hand in putting us into captivity. So, so now the tables are going to turn now. Now the tables are starting to turn now. Going right back. Jeremiah 30, 17. For I will restore health unto thee. And I will heal thee of thy wounds. Said the Lord, you have by Shem, I will shy that healing is coming. Because they have called thee an outcast, all these nations, saying, this is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. Because look, they're looking at our people right about now. Like, yo, these can't be the children of the Lord. Look at them. But you nations are going to be a million times worse than we have ever looked and have ever been. Just remember that. It's coming. Shut up, woman.